In optics, an ultra-short pulse of light is an electromagnetic pulse whose time duration is of the order of a picosecond second or less. Such pulses have a broadband optical spectrum, and can be created by mode-locked oscillators. They are commonly referred to as ultra-fast events. Amplification of ultra-short pulses almost always requires the technique of chirped pulse amplification, in order to avoid damage to the gain medium of the amplifier. They are characterized by a high peak intensity, or more correctly, a radiance that usually leads to nonlinear interactions in various materials, including air. These processes are studied in the field of nonlinear optics. In the specialized literature, ultra-short refers to the femtosecond FS and picosecond PS range, although such pulses no longer hold the record for the shortest pulses artificially generated. Indeed, X-ray pulses with durations on the attosecond time scale have been reported. The 1999 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Ahmed H. Zewal for using ultra-short pulses to observe chemical reactions on the timescales they occur on, opening up the field of femtochemistry. Topic. Definition There is no standard definition of ultra-short pulse. Usually the attribute ultra-short applies to pulses with a temporal duration of a few tens of femtoseconds, but in a larger sense any pulse which lasts less than a few picoseconds can be considered ultra-fast. A common example is a chirped Gaussian pulse, a wave whose field amplitude follows a Gaussian envelope and whose instantaneous phase has a frequency sweep. Topic. Background The real electric field corresponding to an ultra-short pulse is oscillating at an angular frequency ω0 corresponding to the central wavelength of the pulse. To facilitate calculations, a complex field E T is defined. Formally, it is defined as the analytic signal corresponding to the real field. The central angular frequency ω0 is usually explicitly written in the complex field, which may be separated as a temporal intensity function I t and a temporal phase function ψ t e t equals I t e I omega 0 t e I psi t Display style e t equals sqrt i t e caret i omega underscore zero t e caret i psi t. The expression of the complex electric field in the frequency domain is obtained from the Fourier transform of e t e omega equals f e t. Display style e omega equals mathcal f e t. Because of the presence of the I omega zero T display style e caret I omega underscore zero T term e omega is centered around omega zero, and it is a common practice to refer to e omega omega zero by writing just e omega, which we will do in the rest of this article. Just as in the time domain, an intensity and a phase function can be defined in the frequency domain e omega equals s omega e i phi omega display style e omega equals sqrt s omega e caret i phi omega the quantity s omega display style s omega is the intensity spectral density or simply the spectrum of the pulse and phi Omega display style phi omega is the phase spectral density or simply spectral phase. Example of spectral phase functions include the case where phi omega display style phi omega is a constant, in which case the pulse is called a bandwidth limited pulse, or where phi omega display style phi omega is a quadratic function, in which case the pulse is called a chirped pulse because of the presence of an instantaneous frequency sweep. Such a chirp may be acquired as a pulse propagates through materials like glass and is due to their dispersion. It results in a temporal broadening of the pulse. 
the intensity functions temporal i t display style i t and spectral s omega display style s omega determine the time duration and spectrum bandwidth of the pulse as stated by the uncertainty principle their product sometimes called the time bandwidth product has a lower bound this minimum value depends on the definition used for the duration and on the shape of the pulse for a given spectrum the minimum time bandwidth product and therefore the shortest pulse is obtained by a transform limited pulse ie for a constant spectral phase phi omega display style phi omega high values of the time bandwidth product on the other hand indicate a more complex pulse topic <laughs> pulse shape control Although optical devices also used for continuous light, like beam expanders and spatial filters, may be used for ultra-short pulses, several optical devices have been specifically designed for ultra-short pulses. One of them is the pulse compressor, a device that can be used to control the spectral phase of ultra-short pulses. It is composed of a sequence of prisms, or gratings. When properly adjusted it can alter the spectral phase phi omega of the input pulse so that the output pulse is a bandwidth-limited pulse with the shortest possible duration. A pulse shaper can be used to make more complicated alterations on both the phase and the amplitude of ultra-short pulses. To accurately control the pulse, a full characterization of the pulse spectral phase is a must in order to get certain pulse spectral phase such as transform limited. Then, a spatial light modulator can be used in the 4F plane to control the pulse. Multiphoton Intrapulse Interference Phase Scan is a technique based on this concept. Through the phase scan of the spatial light modulator, MIIPS can not only characterize but also manipulate the ultra-short pulse to get the needed pulse shape at target spot such as transform limited pulse for optimized peak power, and other specific pulse shapes. If the pulse shaper is fully calibrated, this technique allows controlling the spectral phase of ultra-short pulses using a simple optical setup with no moving parts. However the accuracy of MIIPS is somewhat limited with respect to other techniques, such as frequency-resolved optical gating frog. <laughs> <laughs> Measurement techniques Several techniques are available to measure ultra-short optical pulses. Intensity autocorrelation gives the pulse width when a particular pulse shape is assumed. Spectral interferometry SI is a linear technique that can be used when a pre-characterized reference pulse is available. It gives the intensity and phase. The algorithm that extracts the intensity and phase from the SI signal is direct. Spectral phase interferometry for direct electric field reconstruction spider is a nonlinear self-referencing technique based on spectral shearing interferometry. The method is similar to SI, except that the reference pulse is a spectrally shifted replica of itself, allowing one to obtain the spectral intensity and phase of the probe pulse via a direct FFT filtering routine similar to SI, but which requires integration of the phase extracted from the interferogram to obtain the probe pulse phase. Frequency resolved optical gating frog is a nonlinear technique that yields the intensity and phase of a pulse. It is a spectrally resolved autocorrelation. The algorithm that extracts the intensity and phase from a frog trace is iterative. Grating eliminated no nonsense observation of ultra fast incident laser light E fields -E -E, is a simplified version of frog. Grenouil is French for frog. Chirp scan is a technique similar to MIIPS which measures the spectral phase of a pulse by applying a ramp of quadratic spectral phases and measuring second harmonic spectra. With respect to MIIPS, which requires many iterations to measure the spectral phase, only two chirp scans are needed to retrieve both the amplitude and the phase of the pulse. Multiphoton intrapulse interference phase scan MIIPS is a method to characterize and manipulate the ultra short pulse. Topic. Wave packet propagation in non-isotropic media To partially reiterate the discussion above, the slowly varying envelope approximation of the electric field of a wave with central wave vector k 0 and central frequency omega 
zero display style omega underscore zero at the pulse is given by e x t equals a x t exp i k zero x minus i omega zero t Display style text BF E text BF X T equals text BF a text BF X T EXP I text BF K underscore zero text BF X I omega underscore zero T. We consider the propagation for the SVEA of the electric field in a homogeneous dispersive non-isotropic medium. Assuming the pulse is propagating in the direction of the Z axis, it can be shown that the envelope a display style text BF A for one of the most general of cases, namely a biaxial crystal, is governed by the PDE a Z equals minus beta one a T minus I two beta two two a T two plus one six beta three three a t three plus gamma x a x plus gamma y a y Display style frac partial text BF a partial Z equals tilde tilde beta underscore one frac partial text BF a partial T tilde tilde frac I two beta underscore two frac partial carrot two text BF a partial T carrot two tilde plus tilde frac one six beta underscore three frac partial carrot three text BF a partial T carrot three tilde plus tilde gamma underscore x frac partial text BF a partial x tilde plus tilde gamma underscore Y frac partial text BF a partial Y plus I gamma T X two a T X plus I gamma T Y two a T Y Minus I two gamma x x two a x two minus I two gamma y y two a y two plus Gamma x y two a x y plus display style tilde 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 plus tilde i gamma underscore t x frac partial carrot two text bf a partial t partial x tilde plus tilde i gamma underscore tie frac partial carrot two text bf a partial t partial y tilde tilde frac i two gamma underscore x x frac partial carrot two text bf a partial x carrot two tilde tilde frac i two gamma underscore y y frac partial carrot two text b F a partial y carrot two tilde plus tilde i gamma underscore x y frac partial carrot two text b f a partial x partial y plus c d o t s, where the coefficients contains diffraction and dispersion effects which have been determined analytically with computer algebra and verified numerically to within third order for both isotropic and non-isotropic media, valid in the near field and far field. Beta one display style beta underscore one is the inverse of the group velocity projection. The term in beta two display style beta underscore two is the group velocity dispersion (GVD) or second order dispersion. It increases the pulse duration and chirps the pulse as it propagates through the medium. 
the term in beta 3 display style beta underscore 3 is a third order dispersion term that can further increase the pulse duration even if beta 2 display style beta underscore 2 vanishes the terms in gamma x display style gamma underscore x and gamma y display style gamma underscore y describe the walk off of the pulse the coefficient gamma x gamma y display style gamma underscore x tilde gamma underscore y is the ratio of the component of the group velocity x y display style x tilde y and the unit vector in the direction of propagation of the pulse z axis the terms in gamma x x display style gamma underscore x x and gamma y y display style gamma underscore y y describe diffraction of the optical wave packet in the directions perpendicular to the axis of propagation the terms in gamma t x display style gamma underscore t x and gamma t y display style gamma underscore tie containing mixed derivatives in time and space rotate the wave packet about the y display style y and x display style x axes respectively increase the temporal width of the wave packet in addition to the increase due to the gvd increase the dispersion in the x display style x and y display style y directions respectively and increase the chirp in addition to that due to beta 2 display style beta underscore 2 when the latter and or gamma x x display style gamma underscore x x and gamma y y display style gamma underscore y y and non vanishing the term gamma x y display style gamma underscore x y rotates the wave packet in the x minus y display style x y plane oddly enough because of previously incomplete expansions this rotation of the pulse was not realized until the late 1990s but it has been experimentally confirmed to third order, the RHS of the above equation is found to have these additional terms for the uniaxial crystal case. Plus 1 3 gamma t x x 3 a x 2 t plus 1 3 gamma t Y Y three a Y two T plus one three Gamma T T X three a T two X plus Display style C D O T S tilde plus tilde frac one three gamma underscore T X X frac partial carrot three text BF a partial X carrot two partial T tilde plus tilde frac one three gamma underscore T Y Y frac partial carrot three text BF a partial Y carrot two partial T tilde plus tilde frac one three gamma underscore T T X frac partial carrot three text BF a partial T carrot two partial X plus C D O T S the first and second terms are responsible for the curvature of the propagating front of the pulse. These terms, including the term in beta 3, display style beta underscore 3, 
are present in an isotropic medium and account for the spherical surface of a propagating front originating from a point source. The term gamma t x x display style gamma underscore t x x can be expressed in terms of the index of refraction, the frequency omega display style omega, and derivatives thereof and the term gamma t t x display style gamma underscore t t x also distorts the pulse but in a fashion that reverses the roles of t display style t and x display style x see reference of trippenbach scott and band for details so far the treatment herein is linear but nonlinear dispersive terms are ubiquitous to nature studies involving an additional nonlinear term gamma n l a 2 display style gamma underscore n i a carrot 2 a have shown that such terms have a profound effect on wave packet including amongst other things a self steepening of the wave packet the nonlinear aspects eventually lead to optical solitons despite being rather common the svea is not required to formulate a simple wave equation describing the propagation of optical pulses in fact, as shown in, even a very general form of the electromagnetic second-order wave equation can be factorized into directional components, providing access to a single first-order wave equation for the field itself, rather than an envelope. This requires only an assumption that the field evolution is slow on the scale of a wavelength, and does not restrict the bandwidth of the pulse at all. As demonstrated vividly by topic. High harmonics. High energy ultrashort pulses can be generated through high harmonic generation in a nonlinear medium. A high intensity ultrashort pulse will generate an array of harmonics in the medium. A particular harmonic of interest is then selected with a monochromator. This technique has been used to produce ultrashort pulses in the extreme ultraviolet and soft X ray regimes from near infrared T sapphire laser pulses. Applications <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Advanced material 3D micro, nanoprocessing The ability of femtosecond lasers to efficiently fabricate complex structures and devices for a wide variety of applications has been extensively studied during the last decade. State-of-the-art laser processing techniques with ultra-short light pulses can be used to structure materials with a sub-micrometer resolution. Direct laser writing DLW of suitable photoresists and other transparent media can create intricate three-dimensional photonic crystals PHC, micro-optical components, gratings, tissue engineering TAY, scaffolds and optical waveguides. Such structures are potentially useful for empowering next-generation applications in telecommunications and bioengineering that rely on the creation of increasingly sophisticated miniature parts. The precision, fabrication speed and versatility of ultra-fast laser processing make it well placed to become a vital industrial tool for manufacturing. Micro-machining Among the applications of femtosecond laser, the microtexturization of implant surfaces have been experimented for the enhancement of the bone formation around zirconia dental implants. The technique demonstrated to be precise with a very low thermal damage and with the reduction of the surface contaminants. Posterior animal studies demonstrated that the increase on the oxygen layer and the micro and nano features created by the microtexturing with femtosecond laser resulted in higher rates of bone formation, higher bone density and improved mechanical stability. Topic: See also Bandwidth limited pulse Femtochemistry Frequency comb Medical imaging – Ultra-short laser pulses are used in multiphoton fluorescence microscopes Optical communication – Ultra-short pulses – Filtering and pulse shaping Terahertz – T-rays – Generation and detection Ultra-fast laser spectroscopy 
wave packet.